Okay guys, today is Tuesday, May 19th, and we are working in lesson 8-7 of our math, and we are going to explore equivalent fractions. So just when you thought we were finished with fraction circles and all of our tools, I guess we're not. So here we go. So get out your fraction circles if you have them. Otherwise, page 229 with your number line, fractions on a number line, will be helpful for you. And meet me at Math Journal page 269. There's our equivalent fractions chart. Okay, so here we go. Technical difficulties. There. Okay, so we're not going to bother with following the first time on this activity card because that's at school and we won't need it. But we are going to be working through fractions, what is left, and what is equal to what is left. So here's my fraction chart, my fraction poster on a number line. That will be helpful. So let's look. It says what fraction of the whole is missing? It's telling us right here the red circle is the whole. So the red circle in the very back of our stuff shows here. Right here in the back of our math journal, it shows the red circle is a half. So what is missing? Well, if the red circle is the whole, that's the whole, the actual whole, one piece. One half is missing. And then you are going to find what is an equivalent to one half. So one half equals what? And so to do that, I just want you to look at your number line poster. And I want you to find one half. Ding, ding, here it is. Go down and find what is equivalent to one half. Oh my gosh, in a many lessons ago, I've circled it for us even. One half is the same as two fourths, four eighths, and three sixths. So you can put any of those in there, and that's all you do for it. So one half is the same as, I wanna say four eighths. That works. If I divide it into the eight pieces, four of the eight would be shaded. And I could even look at that back here, where it shows eighths. It's a dark blue. One, two, three, four of them would make up the red hole. <clears throat> Number two, what fraction of the whole is missing? Remember, it's saying missing, not there. This is there, but this one is missing. How much is missing? So ask yourself, okay, how many pieces is it divided into? Total, one, two, three, four. So I know it's fourths, but how many of those fourths are missing? I see three are there, so one of them is gone. One fourth is missing, so one quarter. Again, you can go over to your little lovely chart, check it out, find one quarter, here it is, and find the equivalent fraction for one quarter. And again, you do it the same way. Start at the top, here's one quarter, go down and see if it matches. <gasps> Ooh, two eighths, that's one. Ooh, one third, nope, not quite. Go down, two six. no. So we are going to write what? Two eighths. And this will be easier if you have your fraction circles. So if you do, that's going to be better, but mine are still at school. So I improvised. I was being resilient by using my other tool. Turn your page, and you will see another Exploring Equivalent Fractions. And this time, oh no, this isn't, that's one big piece. But they're trying to trick you. Pull your little line down like that. How many pieces did they mean there to be? That's the secret. And find what is missing. Write the missing fraction. Use your chart over here or the back of the book to decide what is missing. Same for number four. And number five says, how do you know when fractions are equivalent? How do you know when they are equal? What's the signal? How do you know? You will also work on math boxes, page 271 today. So let's take a look. Oh my gosh, this is how many times have passed? Length of day? 
So you might want to do that on a different piece of paper. Put these facts in order from least to greatest. So that means smallest to largest product. And remember, a product is the answer. So which one is the smallest answer? Write the answer. Smallest answer, biggest answer. Put the facts in order. So first, solve them. Then write the number model from smallest answer to biggest. Ooh, extended facts here on number three. Fill in the circles on the different ways to break up 14 times six to solve it. And then a graphing question. Yay, it feels like forever since we've had that. It probably has been because of morning work. We had it all the time. This is a question about analyzing the graph. Read the graph. My hint to you is remember, on Monday, they sold this many books. How many books did they sell? 25. I'm going to write that. And write the answer in each one of these bars. That way, it's easier for you to see what is there. Save yourself a step. And then find this. This is a two-step problem. So you've got these done. And remember, I'll be ready for our Zoom if you have any questions. I love you, and I'll talk to you later.